normally when we're done debugging it's just worth to say debug stop debugging and uh, if we don't need this breakpoint anymore we can remove it by clicking on the margin of the source file so source index and destination index are two other registers that are available as uh, general purpose registers inside intel uh, cpu instruction pointer and uh, the flag registers are part of the uh, control unit and uh, they of course uh, are part of the finite state machine that is uh, implemented by the cpu so eip stands for instruction pointer also known as program counter um, in uh, von Neumann uh, computer architecture. So flags have some status flags and uh, uh, we will discuss those later. Uh, move instructions move data from uh, one location to another. So just to, uh, to give you an example, right here when we say move um, um, immediate uh, value into the register this is what we have tried to do right here immediate value such as 5 is stored directly inside this instruction and this is why it's called immediate value because it is loaded immediately as soon as the, the instruction is loaded uh, into the CPU to be executed so this uh, value 5 has no place in computer memory it's located directly inside the cpu instruction so we can uh, use move command to move uh, data between different registers or we can store uh, uh, values uh, in uh, registers immediate values or we can move in and out of memory so uh, immediate values can also be uh, stored memory for example i could uh, add um, something like this a double word this is an integer size data type and uh, initialize it with uh, zero for example i can give uh, this double word uh, memory allocation inside my global data segment um, a name for example i can call it value right so this is an integer value in memory right here that i can allocate add this to my data segment so if i build this it really doesn't uh, change much it all all that it does is just adds a um, <clears throat> memory location right here but uh, to give you an example of this instruction now i can say that um, if I want to store this 5 right here in this memory location, I can use value as memory address and we use uh, square brackets to indicate memory access in assembly. It's a notation similar to a C array notation using square brackets and value basically represents the memory address. So here we can clearly see that this is a memory address um, this is a label that will assume the memory address of this double word which is double word is a 32-bit uh, memory uh, allocation inside data segment and the double word is a uh, is memory allocation directive and so this is how we create variables we'll see more examples of this but uh, this instruction will be updating uh, this um, value now so let's build this and uh, um, <clears throat> my assumption is that uh, assembler thinks that because this is double word it knows what kind of memory location to update so th it thinks that this is a double word which is a 32-bit um, value and um, i can be more explicit and say that this is d word double word pointer okay so we say uh, we can explicitly provide the type of this memory by mm, 
forcing assembler to accept that this value is a pointer to the double word. In other words, this is address. Each label uh, that is attached to this memory allocation uh, gets uh, the address of this of this value in memory and so this is um, an instruction that moves immediate value 5 into this memory and of course we can use registers if if I want for instance to move uh, from this memory to register uh, uh, EAX I can say uh, let's move it from this a place right here but eax is already a double word so we just normally don't do this it's obvious that eax is 32-bit register therefore uh, at this address a 32-bit value will be extracted out of memory so this is an example um, of um, uh, moving from memory to register okay so this is uh, uh, example of instruction that does does this kind of move right so uh, sometimes uh, we have to explicitly uh, specify uh, the type of memory that's being used for instance for example instead of using this uh, label directly as memory address I can uh, load this uh, address move it into another register for instance uh, how about uh, esi register so i can say move into register esi and i want to obtain the address i need to say offset of value okay so offset operator uh, is available mm, to labels in the data segment and uh, it simply takes the offset of this uh, memory address inside the global data segment and uh, this register now be loaded with uh, with this value with the with the address of of this integer in memory remember d word is an integer so now if we have this i can say move uh, into esi and now using square bracket it means that esi now is an address where I want to store something and I can move for instance uh, uh, either register or again immediate value how about we move uh, the value stored in register EAX in this uh, location so if I build this again uh, assembler assumes that this is 32-bit size uh, I have a memory location loaded into register and when I use square brackets uh, this forcing assembler to take value from this register and store it at the memory address where ESI is pointing to which of course is uh, as a result of this instruction prior uh, it's pointing to uh, to this uh, address which is of course the address of this double word in memory right here so as a result the the value of eax will be written uh, into into this memory so and uh, again eax is 32 bits so it's assumed that this is an address of a 32 bit uh, memory uh, however if i uh, try to replace it again with some sort of immediate value like this and try to build this uh, we get an error uh, telling us that the, the instruction operands are invalid and what uh, this is not very descriptive but typically when you get this type of um, error message you need to pay attention uh, to the fact um, that we must uh, provide the the size of this data at this address in other words uh, we again need to provide double word pointer uh, operator here to say that ESI register contains an address or points to pointer to an integer so in this is how integers look in assembler they are all double words so this time the error should be uh, gone and if I build this um, you know we can again set uh, a breakpoint uh, and start debugging session by pressing F5 or going to 
start debugging and uh, everything starts so let's see what happens to our registers so i press uh, f10 to step over uh, these um, um, instructions now this is being updated with five and notice that now i'm going to take this memory address presumably it's already loaded with five so the next step is to move it into register EAX. So let's see what happens to this register EAX when I press F10 again to step over this instruction. So here it is, it changes to 5. So first we updated this memory location, then we, we extract the value from this memory location and load it into register EAX. Uh, then uh, we are loading a register ESI right here, this register ESI, with address of value. So let's take a look at this. Um, uh, we Again, we just uh, step over this by pressing uh, F10. Uh, you can press F10 to uh, step over the next instruction. And so this uh, memory uh, address now is lo loaded into register ESI and um, we can if we want to we can examine this address in memory we can simply copy from here for example go to debug windows and there are uh, a few uh, memory views that you can open i'll open memory one so it gets opened somewhere uh, and uh, uh, what I can do uh, is I can specify which uh, which memory address I'd like to take a look at. And I already copied it from my registers from uh, ESI, just pressing Control c switching back to this memory tab, and replacing, just carefully replace that, z leave uh, 0x intact and replace it with the, the address that you want. And you can observe that uh, this uh, integer value right here contains 5 as as because we updated it with this specific value already. So right now we have register ESI uh, loaded with address of this uh, integer in memory and now I keep moving so my next uh, instru instruction pointer is pointing to this instruction which is next. If I step over this one by pressing F10, you can see that uh, the value here has changed to 0a. Of course, this is hexadecimal uh, encoding of uh, integer 10. Okay, so this now, now we use the uh, register containing address of this integer in memory and uh, uh, stored immediate value 10 in that memory. So these are examples of move instruction and what you can do with this. So you can try to play with the different formats of move instruction like I did right here and see how it works and uh, if these are correct expectations uh, where you are thinking about uh, doing something or moving values. So move instruction uh, does the moves but once in a while we need uh, to use uh, this uh, which specifies that the address is pointer uh, to an integer in our case and sometimes you need to use this which is uh, telling um, uh, assembler to make sure that uh, we're not loading the value like zero or whatever the the value is stored at this address but actually loading address of this um, uh, of this memory location into a register uh, or wherever we're loading it Okay, so these are just um, simple e examples right here. So debug, uh, normally I just stop debugging, but apparently I pressed uh, the go button. So we've exited here. And so it's also kind of interesting to observe that we exited this procedure with code 5. And this is simply because register EAX was loaded with 5. Uh, so whenever you exit uh, your functions in C and C++, and this is another example of a procedure, when you return, the return value is stored in register EAX. And you can see that this is the reason why our program exited with code 5. Uh, 